So today I'm undertaking the project to remove the standard factory radio from my C5 Corvette 2001 and I'm going to be installing a uh, Pioneer 4200 NEX double din screen. I've already started removing the center console. These two screws here, or I should say nuts. The active handling, these two nuts here. There's a screw down here. I think there's another one somewhere. And then behind this. All right, so now I got the bezel off. And I'm in the process of getting the head unit out. There's a couple screws here. And then I think I need to take this out as well just to work with the space in there because there's a shelf in there that probably has to come out. And we'll see what happens. So the previous owner to this car had a um, Sirius FM Direct adapter. I guess it plugged into the back and it used one of the unused radio stations. Very weird that they did this. There's the cigarette lighter that's hardwired in. I guess there's good news and bad news about this is, well, bad news is that it's garbage. Um, the good news is, is it looks like I have all the wires I need here, yellow, red, and ground. So I don't, I may not have to tap into the footwell. So that might be the good news uh, out of this. And there's also a serious antenna that's already routed somewhere that I assume works. I don't know where it is, but uh, I don't, it's one less step for me. All right, so I got the HVAC unit out and the old stereo out. There's a couple of shelves back there that are probably going to be a challenge for me since I don't really have like a Dremel tool. So I got to figure out how to drill these bad boys out. You see these here, over here. This shelf is going to have to come out because it's a, oops, got a blurry there. The shelf is going to have to come out for the double din unit to be able to fit in there. So let me see how to tackle that challenge. I think most people have drilled them out or dremeled it out. So that's the next thing. Bye. All right. So while I was stressing out how I was going to get this shelf out, I did a little digging in my garage and I found out that I had this really awesome tool called the Sawzall. And I just went to town. And I just basically mowed that mowed the uh, the rivets down here, and then over here I was able to weaken it enough so that I could just basically pry it off. I'm hoping that that's not going to be a problem because that's still sticking out a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Anyway, so one mod that I'm doing while I'm installing this stereo is uh, the USB ports, and in the um, center console there was a cigarette lighter plug here, so I've taken that out and I've put in dual USB ports. The radio that I'm installing supports both Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay. So there's two USB ports on the back of the radio, which I'm going to run back here. As you can see, and I've got them coming back through the front here, through the gap. I've got them labeled top and bottom so I know which is which. And then uh, I'll be able to hook up the USB right through there and get power and be able to either store my iPod in here or my phone or whatever and keep it out of sight. So I hooked up the radio to make sure everything was working and I am getting good sound. So at least I know that I've hooked everything up on the head unit correctly. So next thing was to hook up the rear camera. So I probably should have filmed some of this as I was doing it, but uh, went ahead and ran some wires back here to the rear uh, light socket so this is what's going to trigger the camera to come on on the head unit so red i'm sorry green to red and then there's the ground and then here's my camera i don't know if you can see it but i did put a hole back in there which of course always makes me nervous i'm gonna have to seal that up somehow and inside here i took these back panels off here i took this side out so i could get it back to here and i ran the wires here i'm gonna try to make it clean underneath here but I did run the wire back to the head unit underneath there and it went around underneath there and then back up to the head unit that way. So 
I've got a, a front facing cam that I'm going to put underneath the uh, rear view mirror. It's kind of like a dash cam type scenario, so that's next. So the trick is, is to line up the bracket, or I should say the new bezel, to make sure that you've done all the right uh, adjustments with the brackets. It's an incredibly tight fit back there, uh, but it looks like I think I finally got it. Also, just another mod that I did is I put the HDMI and auxiliary um, plug in here in the old cigarette lighter. Uh, that, that will go to the back of the unit as well. But I'm almost done here. Good stuff. Okay, so I got the unit on. Serious except hooked up yet, but this is the preview channel. Reverse view. Okay, so this was not the easiest of installs. I learned a lot along the way. Thank you very much to Corvette Forums. Uh, I got a lot of information there. Uh, thank you to Dennis at DD Mods who hooked me up with a pretty good deal here and did the nice bezel. Uh, got the uh, cup holders here. Got my new Corvette rest. Got my iPod in there. I'm pretty happy. All in all, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad everything's working. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.